Um, moving on to a lightweight bout, which uh, George and I, we actually called this one too. Um, and that put Josh Thompson against uh, Nate Diaz. And I don't think either the both first, of us. Huh? Josh Thompson's the first fighter to ever finish Nate Diaz in the UFC. Yes, and I, I don't think I, I thought we both thought Josh Thompson would win because he's he's just he's given that whole camp fits. But I didn't think we either. Did you think he was going to finish Nate Diaz? I didn't see that coming. I might have called it. You might on our previous video. You might. I don't know. If I you just did. you. I, I think Josh Thompson just. I mean, oh, like you he know said, what you he did. You know what's fucked up? You actually called George. You actually said, "I'm going to go out on a limb." I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say Josh Thompson ends it in the second round, and that's exactly what happened. Damn, dude, you're sophical. Yeah, you're, I'm pretty. And, and the only Nash, reason I said that mm -hmm. is because Josh Thompson is a very, very smart fighter. Yeah. And on top of that, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You don't ever have to guess where the Diaz brothers are going to be. Yeah. They're going to be directly in front of you. Mm -hmm. The only time they move laterally is to try to cut off the ring. Yeah. And Nate Diaz did not throw one or two punches and then slip to the side. He throws these wild looping punch. They both do. They're exact clones of each other. Yeah, they, and I love them for it. And, yeah. and, and that's what you get when you get the Diaz brothers in the ring. Yeah. You're going to get a guy who just constantly comes forward, who constantly is going to be in front of you that you can hit and then move yeah. because they're not going to catch up. And Thompson had the good game plan. I mean, he started throwing those leg kicks immediately at his front leg at that lead leg and stuff and then Ooh. and and the other thing that thompson brings to the table he's unorthodox the way he moves and he's slippery oh, yeah. kind. he, he almost, reminds me a lot of that little uh the guy from the rape camp what's his name um <laughs> oh why can't i think of his name the little dominic cruz dominic he's not cruz. as goofy as that little bastard yes. but i mean he moves but he moves a lot he, he gets in and gets out he does not stand still he is squirrely that guy to me right there um, looking at, you know, what Josh, Josh Thompson did last night against Nate Diaz, somebody who hasn't been stopped in the UFC, and knowing what he did and he's done in his previous fights with Gilbert Melendez, right away, that puts him as a contender, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think, I think this keeps him, I mean, it's got to catapult him into the top 10 if he's not there already. Oh, um, yeah. Catapult and let's like, just say it's he's not he's not in the top ten of the uh, the lightweights. But right. I mean, I, after this, I you know who I'd love to see Josh Thompson fight Donald Cerrone. Why not? Oh, that or, would be a nasty Jim ass Miller. Fight. You've been calling some good ass fights lately because you said last week you said GSP and Benson Henderson. Um, yeah, but, but, but uh, as all of our loyal fan has told us that that G, uh, <laughs> fucking Daddy Dana's already fucking squashed that. Right. So yeah, I think the cowboy the cowboy and. Uh, and Josh Thompson would be a great matchup, actually. That would be yeah, a good that would fucking be, fight. That would be interesting because they both like to stand and bang. The only thing is I don't think Cerrone could keep up with his speed. Yeah, he's fucking crazy, dude. And Comical, brash, and yeah, sometimes politically incorrect, the Uncut Sports Show. Non-traditional sports coverage delivered the way you like it by your uncensored co-hosts, Kevin White and George Bedford.